Hey guys, what's up? It's once again, it's mp4podcast.com. Today we're taking a look at the Kessler time lapse application. Now this is an application you would want to use if you want to figure out how to do time lapse and you know how many minutes you have, uh, how many photographs you have to take for a minute to do a time lapse. So what we're going to do is open it up. Now I'm, I haven't really done time lapses with um, uh, stills before. But this is going to give you a basic idea, and I might be like, you know, doing the calculations wrong, but uh, this is the application to get if you want to do this type of stuff. All right, so we're going to say our exposure, you know, we'll put it at uh, 250, uh, 250 of a second, and we'll do a, uh, a delay of, um, let's say, five seconds. And overall time, we'll do uh, one hour and uh, 16 seconds, uh, 16 minutes, I mean. And so I'll need a total of, let's see if I get that in focus, uh, 911 photographs. And it even goes a little bit deeper. And we'll say, you know, can T4i, that was the newest one from Canon, uh, film type, uh, we'll see it has raw, JPEG, JPEG and raw are not available, um, say raw for the, you know, see what else, and also, um, single time image, uh, I guess if you're doing 24, let me see if this is, no, let's do 24, Sing, uh, single image size is 24. Total size is, uh, is going to be 21, uh, 21 gigs. All right, here, this is what I was looking for. Um, tw if, you know, like if you're in the, in, um, North America or Japan, they have 24 frames per second. Now, this only really matters if you're doing DVD. Or a Blu-ray. If it's on the internet, um, you pal guys can do 20, 24 frames. Uh, save you a little bit of a, a little bit on the memory card. Uh, of course, if you want to convert that to 25, you can do that in After Effects or something. But if you do want to make a Blu-ray, you know you're going to make a Blu-ray a DVD. You can just set it to 25. We'll just set it to 25, and that will be my length of. Uh, time so it'll be a 30, um, um, 30, 36 uh, second video and let's just go back to 20 see what happens if this changes a little bit and if I ch uh, change that to 20, uh, 24 frames it'll be 37 seconds so alright so let's you know go to 30 30 frames and that's going to change it to 30 seconds so it, um, it's a really good calculator. Uh, a lot of times you have to know how to do this in your head, and it can be a little uh, nerve-wracking if you're not good with math, math and you haven't really done time-lapse before. But it's a good, um, I don't know why it changed to Olympus for some reason. I thought I had it on Canon T4i. Uh, so just check your settings when you're doing using this application. It's, it's a really... Um, good application to have. Now here are some of the um, tools that Kessel Kain ha has. Um, my dream tool is uh, the, the Bloom Dolly, the red one. A lot of people want the black one, but I like the red one. looks different. And Kessel Crane, they make like sliders and uh, you know um, cranes and a bunch of other shuttle pods for camera stuff. A lot of stuff you see the cameramen using in movies and stuff. And it also has a, a lot of great tutorials that you can just stream on your iOS device. Um, I really recommend watching uh, raw time lapse workflow. And there's a you know there's a good amount of these. These are also on uh, YouTube and Vimeo, a lot of these videos, so you can probably just look them up. I'll leave a link to Philip Bloom's website as well. And here are probably some other um, episodes uh, one of them looks like film right right over there and you know 
you can uh, call customer service if you or email them if you have any questions. But this is the Kessler uh, time lapse calculator, I guess you would call it. I'll leave a iTunes link in the description box of this video. You can put, install it on your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. So once again, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button. Love to have you as a subscriber. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Take care, everyone. Later, guys. Bye.